Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be making this set of runes. If this is your first time visiting me, hey, how are you doing? Please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, share the video. Stay till the end for a slightly bonus addition to this video. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be making a set of runes. I purchased this rune mold online on Amazon. I'm not an affiliate with Amazon, uh, but if you go to Amazon.com and type in that you're looking for rune molds, you can find that there. Or you can Wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get a set made by me. Alright, so this is the, the Viking runes, the Elder runes. And there are 24 of them. Most recently within the last, you know, century, we've added an additional rune, the empty one. Now this mold does come with three empty runes. I'm only going to use one of them. Either the first one or the last one. One of those two. But um, that's that. I've got some bay leaves here. There's one leaf for each rune. And I'm going to break them up into you know tiny pieces and put it inside of each rune. This rune, I think I'm going to make it just plain clear. I'm using the amazing clear cast as part A and part B. When measuring this, you want to measure it by volume, not by weight. It does make a big difference. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... I'll start breaking these up, putting them in, and then make the mix up the resin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break up each one of my bay leaves. And for each mold, I'm putting one bay leaf in there. I know you might be asking, why am I using a bay leaf? Well, bay leaves do have magical properties. And... Um, you can definitely look that up to see what their magical properties are, but um, one of the things that they will do is they will enhance any anything that you are doing magically. I just felt that putting them in each ruined stone would just enhance that stone itself. So I'm breaking each one of the leaves up, putting them in, and then, you know, with my fingers trying to lay them down as best as I could before adding the resin to the mold and so now I'm going to go ahead and measure out my resin I'm going to add about 60 milliliters of resin so that'll be 30 milliliters of part A and then 30 liters of part B the particular resin that I'm using as I said before it's um, by volume not weight which is why I measured it instead of weighing it and you want to mix this resin very thoroughly for about three to five minutes. Now, you always want to make sure that you're wearing your PPE. So I've got my gloves on and my mask, of course, before doing all of this. I know it looks like I'm mixing it very quickly, but it's not as fast as it actually looks. Uh, you do want to make sure that you scrape the sides. 
you don't want to agitate this too much because it will go ahead and create more bubbles by doing the agitation. I really feel like I need to get one of those plastic stirrers because I, I've heard that they don't create as many bubbles as the wooden ones do. I'll see about doing that if I can remember. <laughs> um, now with this, I'm not going to add anything to my resin. I'm going to keep it clear because I do want each one of the stones to be clear. Once my three to five minutes is up, I'm going to use a spoon so I can kind of measure how much I'm going to be putting inside of each one of the stone, you know, the molds itself. And I'm using a less than half of that spoonful for each one of these on some I may have accidentally you know added too much but I am filling the mold to the top and being careful as I pour it in so I'm not creating bubbles as it's going in the leaves themselves will go ahead and, and lift up and they will create some bubbles which I will have to go ahead and you know put down with a spoon or with my stirrer. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to add the resin to each one of the molds. In total, uh, it did use more than the 60 milliliters. I used about a total of um, a little over 100 milliliters of the resin. And any extra that I did have, I just used into the two blank molds that you see on there. As you see now, I'm going ahead and I'm just tamping down the leaves. It, like I said, it will create some bubbles, but those will bust fairly quickly. I'm not going to use any type of heat or, or anything to go ahead and um, take those bubbles out. Instead, I'm using alcohol spray. I don't want to mess up my mold. And just by lightly spritzing it with the alcohol spray, that does get rid of the bubbles. All oh, right, this looks great. All right, so it's been 24 hours, and I've let these sit to dry. I'm loving how clear this looks. Let's go ahead and start popping them out. Oh. You know, even before I pop them out, let me show you what I'm going to use for the letters. I'm going to use this. Uh, it's premixed pouring acrylic. It's gold metallic. I'm going to paint that on. Let's get a little bit on my scratch paper. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this one is the clear the no numbers nothing it's called the unknowable and just because I had some extra resin I went ahead and did these two but they're not going to be used in this set. It's just because I had the extra resin. There we go. Oh, look at how beautiful this looks coming out. I really like that. This one symbolizes defense. I know it's a little hard to see them right now. You can't see it. I need to color those in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and unmold the rest of these. And I do not use a mold release. Someone had asked me about that. No, I don't use a mold release at all. Um, I haven't really felt the need to. If I start, then, you know, if something gets stuck and I feel like I need it, I'll go ahead and buy it then. Some are going to be larger than the others because of the way I poured. All right, let me get through these. So fantastic. There's no reason to have a mold release at all. This looks so clear.
I love this mold. I really, really do. And I love how these stones look too. All right, there we go. And mold is good, it's clean. I'll probably take some tape and just go inside and around to make sure I've got all the resin pulled up. I've got my paint over here. I'm going to use both the paintbrush and this little tool. I don't even know what it is actually. I got it from Dollar Tree. I used this end to do the dots inside of my dominoes. I think I'm going to try this end, the smaller of the ends, in here. I think it'll actually fit. There we go. I like that how that gold looks. Let me see something. Get in with the toothbrush. I mean the paintbrush. Hmm. Alright, so this one represents movement. And you know what? I think I'm going to make A sheet with the representations of each of them oh my gosh this one has a bubble inside but you know what I'm not I'm not hating that bubble I'm not hating it at all <laughs> all right well my battery died right as I was painting I just went ahead and finished painting the rest of them let me see um, I love how this gold is coming out on here Let me grab this and see if this will make things a little better. And I just make it better to see. You can't you can hardly see the gold in there. Oh, I can see it. This one's the plane. I love how this gold turned out in here. Can you see that? Love that. And um, so the leaf I used inside were bay leaves. It's one whole leaf per room. Oh, these are so, so beautiful. Nice, nice. I'm going to put a layer of resin on top of these just to protect the paint so this can be you know, used for years and years to come. There's that one that has the bubble inside. Can you see it? Well, I've determined I'm going to make that the top. Love how clear these look. I 
Alright, let me grab some gloves and a mask because even though you, you, I'm using a small amount, I still want to make sure that, you know, I'm protected. I'll be back in a moment. What I'm using now is about 15 to 20 milliliters of resin. I've stirred it up just like I have before for about three to five minutes until it was completely mixed in. And of course, making sure that I have my mask. And when I say my mask, it is a ventilator. Um, and making sure I have my gloves. And as you see with the popsicle stick, I'm just dabbing a few drops of the resin on top of the stone, making sure to cover it completely. I do want to make sure that uh, I do cover the painted part of this because I'm hoping that you know this will be used for years to come and when you have something like this that does have paint on it the paint itself will rub off in time and to protect that you do want to cover the top of the stone with um, you know a very light layer of the resin so that way it doesn't rub off in time I'm going to do, you know, the tops of each one and then let the this dry for 24 hours. It would be great if I had a resin dryer. Uh, at the moment, I don't have one. I do plan on getting one to make things go a little bit faster for myself so that I can complete a project within 24 hours instead of 48 or more, however long it takes on what I'm doing. But until then, you know, this is what I'm doing. It's relaxing for me. I hope it's relaxing for you as well. And uh, let me just go ahead and speed through the rest of these. the entire amount. Where can I put that in? Grab the closest mold to me. Yeah. Don't want to waste any of that. Not when it can possibly go on something else. It'd be used for something else. You just never know. I'm going to let these dry now for 24 hours and I'll be back. Really love how this set came out. Each one has one whole bay leaf inside. If you're curious as to why I used bay leaf, um, bay leaf has some magical properties. You can look that up. I 
thank you for watching this video on how I made these runes. I've got um, a little tiny bonus extra. Go ahead and watch to the end. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Okay, so I mentioned in another video about this particular resin that I bought. Uh, it's in my Epic Fail video. I'll post a link to that. I wasn't crazy about it when I got it. I'm still really not that happy. I'm going to use this today on only one part of a mold that I'm going to use. I'm making a necklace for myself and I'm going to be using the Yara rune. It's um, it's a rune for beneficial outcomes and such. I've got my intentions written on a small piece of paper that I will be setting down into that particular rune. And I'm going to mix the part A and part B on this with the uh, with this mix, you can mix it by volume or weight. It is one by one. The work time is three minutes. It has a demold time of 15 minutes. Um, it does want you to agitate both parts before mixing them together. And then once you mix the part A and part B together, you want to thoroughly scrape the sides and bottom of the mixing container to ensure that you know it's been adequately mixed. And then pour them into your mold. So I'm going to do that. And when I used this the first time, I used it by itself on top of, I was hoping to finish up a mold. As I said, look at the video, you'll see what happened with that. And I also tried adding paint to it. That was a disaster. I'm going to try sprinkles. This doesn't have necessarily a color. I like to call it a unicorn, unicorn white. It's white with iridescent sprinkle inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So, um, since I'm only doing the one mold, I don't think I need more than 10 milliliters so let's do this and take part A and please before using any resin make sure that you do have your PPE on gloves gloves and I'm getting ready to put on my my um, mask now I'm going to go ahead and mix up this resin. Um, you can use this one either by volume or by weight. can't find my scales at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and do it by volume. And I'm only going to mix a total of 20 milliliters of resin. It did make more than I actually needed, but that's okay. And um, I've got my note inside the resin. And um, excuse me, I've got my note inside the mold going to go ahead and mix this until it's clear. I do want to only mix it for one minute because as I said it's got a three minute work time and a 15 minute cure time. I did go ahead and sprinkle some glitter on top of it. I was kind of hoping that the glitter would sink all the way through and it what it did and did not do. Let's go ahead and wait the time now. Alright, so as you see, I had a total of about 10 milliliters, and that was more than enough for one. In fact, I ended up doing two molds instead of just one. I can see bubbles coming up on this one. Or that It's probably my paper making the bubble. Just pushing that down some, because I want to keep my paper in there. Okay, this is just really experimenting. I don't know how this is going to turn out. 
I'm hoping it turns out the way I want it to, but we'll see. We shall see. I can tell it's already starting to firm up. See how sticky that is on here? And unfortunately the paper is pushing up what I probably should do, and I'm going to think about doing it next time, is do a very light, thin layer at the bottom. Wait till it's like tacky. Put my paper in, and then put another one on top. This is all experimental right now. I want to see what I can do with this resin. I'd hate the fact that I bought it and you know, I'm not going to use it. I do want to use it. So, you know... Just messing around to see what all I can actually do with it. All right, I'll be right back. Um, like I said, it has a cure time of 15 minutes, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to give this a little longer than 15 minutes, though. Maybe about half an hour. All right, so it's been um, about 15 minutes, and I'm really just curious to see how this is. All right, so this was the second one I made. It's hard. It can cure for a little bit longer, I'm sure. But it's, it's definitely ready to be painted. And um, as you see, my sprinkle stayed just up here. It didn't... The um, glitter didn't go all the way through. And this isn't very clear either. It's cloudy. Here's the one that has my note inside. Oh, you can't even see that my note is in there. And again, the glitter is just back here. Um, it does have a bulge where you can see where my note came up. I'm going to try what I had said about having it a little bit tacky at the bottom and then putting the note in and adding the rest of it. Very curious about that. Got glitter like crazy on here. I'm going to go ahead and paint this and it's about turning this into a necklace anyway. Let's see what we can do. Just got some of my tools up here. I'm just going to use some of this acrylic paint that I got from Dollar Tree. You know, why spend a lot of money when you don't have to? And again, this is an experiment to see how this would work anyway. So I'm going to paint in my rune symbol. Got it. All right. Still that bulge on the back is a bit bothersome, but uh, again, experiment, experiment. I have to just keep reminding myself that I'm just experimenting right now. This isn't something that I'm actually selling to anybody. It would be different if I were. I'm going to make a hole right here at the top. Twisting, 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 twisting. Now I didn't say what was on the paper because that is, you know, just private to me. Of course, if I were making this for somebody else, that would be private to them. And that's why I didn't say, oh, that's what this says or anything like that. Okay, I got this. I guess I should have opened this up first. <laughs> Put a dab of glue on here. Come on. There we go. Dab of glue. And get this twisted in. I have no idea where that just went. I heard it fall. I don't know if it went in front of me or behind me, but it's gone. All right, next. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> la 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 la. 
watch I'm, I'll find it when I clean my room maybe dab of glue did that glue on there? yeah it did and let's try that again come on go into the hole there we go got that in And it's ready to go on the necklace and be warm. Just need to clean that up a little bit. Of course, I can still feel the glue on it. I'll wait until the glue is completely dry. Ooh. Come here, come up so I don't glue you down. The resin that I'm not crazy about. It does definitely cure quick, that's for sure. But you also have to work really fast as well. And clearly the glitter is not going to drip down into it. Alright, so um, if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.